This is a short introduction video for the program Drawing Diff. It's a program designed for comparing two different PDF files to see what the differences are. When you first download the program, uh, you'll get, if you're using Windows, you can download the Drawing Diff uh, WinZip file, unzip that file, and you'll get a folder with Drawing Diff executable and a GS uh, folder that has the GoScript uh, in it. Drawing Diff uses GoScript to um, convert the PDF file into a image so that it can do the comparison. So when you click on Drawing Diff, it'll bring up the window, the main window. There's options to open an old image, a new image, and that's going to be the comparison. Um, there's some display options. I guess we'll go over those in a second here. The best way to use Drawing Diff, or the way I find the best way to use it, is to open your folder with the PDF files. You grab two of the <clears throat> PDF files. Um, you select both of them using the control key or the shift key to grab both files. Drag and drop into the main window. And it'll show at the bottom that's processing the sheets. And then when it's done, it'll bring it up. And here is now we'll get into what the options on the left hand side here are. Right now it's selected show old. So the <clears throat> Uh, what's shown is in black, it's showing what's in both both images or both PDF files and the old, whatever is in the old PDF file but not in the new PDF file is shown in blue. So if you show old, it'll show blue. If you show new, it'll show red. Red is new, blue is old. At least those are the defaults. If you do show both, it'll show both the red and the blue and you can see when you zoom in using the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel um, you can see that both the uh, previous dimension here of 2.00 is shown and the new dimension of 2.01 so there's a quite a few programs that will do that for you the one thing the thing that drawing diff will do that the other programs won't do is it'll highlight the changes a little bit better so you hit click highlight changes and it'll show those the everywhere where there's some blue or red it'll it'll put some high yellow highlighting around it and all of these colors are adjustable in the settings if you go into the general settings it'll bring up this window that has uh, basically you can set the different colors the, the old color the new color the highlight color and the both color so the both color is what's in both both of the PDF files and then you also have an option to choose the go script path and you can save your settings if you want to change these colors to whatever you'd like. Um, the resolution is something that you can change. Um, the lower the resolution, the faster the images will load. But obviously the lower the resolution will be. So you can kind of tailor that to um, depending on how large your image is or your PDF files are. Having that set to whatever you typically use, um, that'll get having that set to something that'll load quickly but still give you the information you, you need is a, is a um, kind of a preference thing. And then you can always, if you want to export an image at a higher resolution, you can always come in here and bump that up, reload the images, and, and export. Um, the way I like to do this is I actually like to do show new with. The highlight changes shown so that shows me <clears throat> where the changes are they're highlighted nicely and it shows it's easy to read what's new and also when when I zoom in using the middle mouse middle scroll wheel here I can actually see what the old uh, text was by looking at what's white inside the yellow highlighted area so it's it's this is this is I guess the way that I find best to use this is to be able to just leave the, like I said, show new with highlight changes and then I can read it. And if I have trouble reading it, I can always go back and, and click the show old. And then it's obviously much easier to read then because it's now it's just showing the blue. But I'm mostly interested in what's in the new drawing, not in what's in the old drawing. But I like to see where things have changed. Um, again, it up here, you can... This is another area that it changed, and, and you can see in the yellow, I can I can read that this said 800, um, but it says 799 right now. So that's, like I said, that's how I, I like to use it. So the other thing that we can do is do a swap all the new. What that's going to do is it's going to switch the old file with the new file. And 
so you can see that the change I'll, if we look at the bottom here the new file name is shown rev b the old file is rev a if i do swap old and new it changes the <clears throat> new file name to rev a and the old file to rev b um, basically just swaps which which one was what's shown in red and blue um, we flip that back because it makes more sense to have the old file name be your rev a um, reload images so if you do if you have something selected you save a new pdf file Rather than dragging, dropping the, the PDF file again, you can just hit reload images. It'll reload the images. Um, uh, I'll use that sometimes if I'm making a change to a drawing. And then I just save a new, and I see, see something while I'm reviewing this that I don't like. I go back, resave the drawing. It'll write over the PDF file, reload the images, and it'll update. Um, clear image memory, that'll just clear what's on the screen. Uh, there's a couple other things. This this will handle multi-sheet uh, PDF so if you have multi sheets the under the sheet menu um, there will be sheet one two three up to however many sheets there are you can select that way the other way to move through sheets is to use the page up page down the view there's so there's a there's some information the the um, there's an option for actually can you, you can undo uncheck the highlight changes in this menu you can also remove some of the things like the show file names here you can remove that off the bottom and that that gives a little bit more um, space for looking at, at what's going on the other thing the left column you can actually remove that as well um, with all those options if you have the options set the way you want them you can just leave it that way um, leave those hidden and then if you go into the settings like we said before uh, you can save that configuration file and it'll remember those settings for what's being shown on the main sh uh, screen as well the other i think the last thing that is of interest is you can actually save uh, a comparison what it's going to do is I, i'll click this save it's going to allow me to save the current uh, view as a tiff file and basically that's going to be a a multi-page tiff file so i'll click save on that and actually bring that up here just so we can see what it looks like so in that folder that we were working in it saved it to that folder I'll double click on that and so this is Windows Photo Viewer um, and that's gonna so that's just basically it's, a, it's an image of whatever whatever is shown on the screen and if there was a multi-page TIFF file um, if there was multiple pages to the PDF file these buttons here would would move through the through the through the sheets um, I don't this is a single sheet so I don't have that option but that's so that that's a way that these can be saved um, for reference or sent to someone else um, to show what what the changes were in a drawing and I think that pretty much covers it uh, it's a pretty simple program but it's I found it useful